Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. Welcome back to Yakuza 0. Um, like and subscribe. Last time, we did the remaining miscellaneous Kiryu quests. You know, met Shinji. We went disco dancing. It's pretty cool. And now, we're on Majima. And, um... Yeah, so... I severely underestimated how many more Majima still had. Now, you may think, oh, he's only got, um... He's only got 13 more. That's, that's not that many. But you see... You remember in Cabaret Club? How you can talk to your hostesses for those special training? Five of those sub-stories are the results of finishing the special training. That's gonna take forever. But don't worry, I'm not, I'm not doing it now. I'll do it later. For now, I'm going to do the miscellaneous ones. What's this poster? Drug testing participants wanted. Compensation, 10 million yen. 10 million yen. That's serious dough. What do they mean by drug testing? If it pays that much, then these half-assed drawings don't inspire much confidence. Hmm? Uh, hey, some fine print. Drug testing is clinical testing of new medicinal products in development to gather data on their effectiveness and safety. In other words, they're looking for glorified lab rats to try out their new drugs. Seeking young, physically fit people. Turn one hour into cash. See our staff at Ashitaba Park for details. Probably fit the bill well enough. If I'm ever hard up for cash, it might be worth swinging by Ashitaba Park. And we will. Yeah, I counted, and Majuma has two. He has two miscellaneous ones. And he has three disco ones. We'll do those ones as well, since that's simple. And then five hostess ones. Five. And then his final one. But something I also realized, I haven't done, like, any of his friendships. Like, any of them. I finished the Gonhara clerk and the phone booth, and that was it. I still gotta do the rest of those. Also, here's the other one. Hey, a toilet. Do I gotta drain the tank? Better now than later. Well, this toilet ain't exactly the model of cleanliness. The walls are covered with graffiti. Most of the gutter talk at best. Pretty sorry state of affairs. Some of this graffiti is done up in some real pretty handwriting. I'm very lonely. Please reply. Mm. Only a lady has handwriting this pretty. Who could have wrote this? What should I do? Let's write a reply. I'll chat with you if you want. There. That'll do. Ain't right for a person to be lonely. <laughs> I must be nuts replying to some bathroom graffiti. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. But let's do the first quest. Hey. Huh? Hmm? Hey, do you hear about the poster? Poster? You didn't see it? Poster seeking drug test participants. Maybe I did see something like that. Yeah, actually. Poster said I get 10 million yen for going through with it, right? Perfect. So you are looking to participate. Well, I really ought to think about... You're young, hale, and hearty. You look to have some lean muscle on that thin frame of yours. You qualify. You'll do. Come with me. Hold on there. I never said I'd do this. What, you're scared? Don't tell me. You're a drug test virgin. Well, that's one way of putting it. Relax. There's nothing to worry about. You may even come out feeling like you're on cloud nine. It feels that good. I might feel yeah. good. Wait a sec. More importantly, why me? Considering the pay, you should have a line out the door of willing subjects. 
I don't know much about drug testing, but that number would raise some eyebrows. Well, yeah. Our testing is strictly off the record. Say what? No, it's nothing. We do get a lot of hopefuls, but people rarely meet the rigorous physical qualifications. What now? In that regard, you're ideal. We'll make a fine specimen. No, no, no. Let's go back to that rigorous physical qualifications part. What's all that about? I'm afraid that until you sign the non-disclosure agreement, we can't speak more on the subject. Do we have your curiosity? You should come check it out. You're, of course, welcome to turn around and leave, but then you wouldn't get paid. <sighs> all right, I'll do it. My curiosity's killing me. With that much cash on the line, I ain't about to say no. That's the spirit. Come with me. First, I'll just need your autograph on this agreement. I gotta sign a contract? Don't start whining now. It's just to cover side effects from the drugs and stuff like that. It's a release form saying we take no responsibility for any bodily harm. What? These drugs ain't safe? What are you worried about? The poster said they were safe, didn't it? This is getting fishier than the river. Just put your name on the line, would you? It's just a formality. It only really comes into play if something goes wrong, which is very rare. Nothing to be concerned about. Yeah, but... Did you really come this far, only to get cold feet now? The door's that way if you want to be a baby about it. Think about it. You'll be assisting in the development of new medicine that may even save children all across the world. How many innocent lives are at stake? Your sacrifice could be a panacea for humanity itself. Now just put your name on the dotted line, would you? Fine, I'll sign it. That's what I needed to hear. You're a good man. So, you're Majima-san. Uh, yeah, that's my name. Okay. I like you, Majima-san. Try not to die. Huh. The drug test will be conducted here. Pretty big room. Hi, is this him? Yeah, he's your test subject. It goes by Majima. Excellent. It's been so long since our last failed session. After what happened to the last person, applications dropped right off. I'm so glad to have Majima-san with us. Wait, what? What happened to the last guy? See ya, Majima-san. Be a good boy and follow their instructions, will you? I'll see you around. If you make it out alive. Good. Now just a hot second. Okay, Majima-san, was it? I'd like to begin right away. Sure, whatever. This is the prototype drug we'll have you take. It's named Fatigue-Free Hexine. That's a terrible name, Doc. What's it do? Taking this medicine energizes muscle cells throughout the body. For a certain amount of time, you will feel thoroughly invigorated. During that time, you will not feel fatigued no matter how physically active you get. Really? If it pulls that off, you'll have a miracle drug on your hands. Majima-san will have you take these pills first. Once they take effect, we'll get you to do some vigorous exercise we prepared. Are you okay with that? Sure, sure. Let's just get this over with. Give me that fatigue-free hexa, what's it? Here you go. Nothing's happening. It takes a little while for the drug to be absorbed into your bloodstream. Alright, come in please, everyone. Who are these guys? They're the help. Majima-san, you'll be fighting them in a minute. I gotta fight them? It's necessary to confirm the drug's effectiveness. That's why we're looking for someone with a rock-solid physique like yours, Majima-san. Oh, I get it now. That's why the pay is so good. It, something's wrong. Um, starting to feel heavy. Like, exhausted? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, seriously, it feels like all my energy's draining away. I can barely stand. That's a big problem. We have to gather data to confirm. What? Hold on. Okay, everyone. We'll have you fight our test subject now. Don't forget your instructions, please. Beat the living crap out of him! So yeah, for this one, we got a couple of fights with uh, debuffs. 
this one has draining health. Which should not be that bad since um, we've got quite a lot of health. Test road affect you. Did nothing like you said it would. I felt like a balloon was in air. I see. It sapped your energy. It seems that the test drug had an unexpected side effect. I'm very sorry about that. But your resilience is to be commended, Majima-san. Despite being hobbled by the test drug, you prevailed. I'm so glad to have you on board. Okay, this is the next prototype we want you to try. I ain't done yet. Yes, for this trial, we would like you to take three drug prototypes and all. So I gotta go through all that two more times, huh? So what's the next drug like? This is a drug we're calling Concentarian. Taking this drug activates your brain cells, making it possible to con concentrate like you've never done before. You may feel as though you're gliding through time itself. Sounds great if it does what you say, but concerning what happened earlier... We're confident about this one. I think it'll be okay. Besides, you know how they say, failure is the mother of success. That ain't reassuring when I'm the one taking your drugs. Still, part of the job. Bring on the concentration pills. Here you go. Not feeling much yet. Yes, like before, it takes a little time before the effects manifest themselves. Okay, everyone. These guys again? Now it's back quick. Don't pull any punches this time either, okay? I think your drug's starting to work. It's making me feel kind of weird. Oh, you feel as if your concentration has improved? Nah, I can't focus on anything, actually. Pardon? I feel... bored? This stupid test. These bland walls. Life itself feels kind of dull. What's happening? You can't focus now. I can't stand things staying the same. What's going on? This is bad. We need to get data for analysis. What? Hold on. Now our styles will randomly switch. I'll have you fight our test subject now. Don't forget your instructions, please. Kick his ass! See, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how this does. Oh, now I'm slugger. Now I'm breaker. It's like having quick change clothes, except you can't decide when you do it. And also, Majima doesn't have quick change clothes. At least I'm, I keep getting breaker. Nice. That one was not hard, mainly because most of his styles are good. <sighs> Managed to get through that one too. Well done. How did this test drug affect you? Can't say this one lived up to the hype, Doc. 
made me all fidgety and I couldn't stay focused on any one thing. I see. Made it impossible for you to concentrate. It seems this drug also had an unforeseen adverse effect. I'm terribly sorry. If it hadn't been you testing the drug, we could have had a dead subject on our hands. <laughs> How exactly is that funny? This is the next drug prototype. You said I gotta take three. Is this the last one then? Yes. After this final drug test, we can compensate you properly, Majima-san. Good. The end's finally in sight. So what's this last drug about? This is the last drug. We named it Vision Improvaxin. That's the best name you got? Doesn't anyone on your staff got away with words? <laughs> Taking these pills increases activity in your optic cells. Your vision will be so enhanced you may feel as though what you see is frozen in time. That sounds impressive, but after the last two times, I ain't so sure. We're really confident this time. I'm certain you'll be okay. Besides, failure is the mother of success. Yet, yeah, you said that already. But I only got one good eye left, Doc. You better not do anything screwy. It'll be absolutely fine. Trust us. Third time's a charm. They also say three strikes and you're out. Alright, whatever. It's the last one. Give me that vision improvement goodness. Here you go. This better not go sideways. Proper effects shouldn't take too long to appear. Okay, everyone. Glad this is the last time I got to see you, jerks. Okay, this will be the last test. Please don't hold anything back. Hey, why are, you, why are you dimming the lights? Pardon? We aren't doing anything with the lighting. What? It's getting real hard to see. But that shouldn't be... I can hardly see. How am I supposed to fight these goobers in this sorry state? We didn't foresee this. We'll have to gather data. Hey, what? Wait. Okay, everyone. For one last time, we'll have you fight our test subject. Now remember your instructions. Beat him to a bloody pulp. Alright, so now we got that going on. Not, not really that bad. Chimper as dead. <sighs> Finally got through that and my sight's coming back. So that's what it'd be like to lose the other eye. That's good to hear. How did this drug affect you? I could hardly see. It kept getting dark and cloudy, so it obscured your vision. Hmm. It seems that every single one of our test drugs produce effects we hadn't expected at all. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, that sucked. You guys gotta try harder than that. We hope to. We use the data we obtained from you to conduct more research. Anyway, we're all done with testing today. Thank you for your most invaluable help. As promised, here is your compensation. You earned every yen. I mean, it's not really much now. I gotta admit, that was a pretty rough test. But if these drugs and your data go on to actually save some lives, I guess it makes it all worthwhile. Oh, right. About that. Huh. Well, the drugs we tested today were all dismal failures. There's absolutely no chance that they'll ever see the light of day. So unfortunately, they will never save anyone. What? After all I just went through? That's a real kick in the dick. In that case, I hope you'll be encouraged to return as a subject for our next drug test. <laughs> Didn't realize how passionate you were about helping the advancement of medicine, Majima-san. You're an inspiration. Wait, that that ain't what I... It's so rare to find someone like you, Majima-san. You're the ideal test specimen. Let's work together for the sake of modern medicine next time, too. Oh, hell no. Please, together we can elevate Japanese medical research to new heights. No way. I'm swearing off drug testing for life. 
No, wait, Majima-san. And um, yeah, that uh, that was that one. Just a little challenge gauntlet. All right. This is the toilet where I wrote back to the lonely lady on the wall. Should I check it out? I offered to chat with the lonely lady who's been writing graffiti on the toilet wall. There's some new writing under my reply, and it's the same handwriting. What do you like? She wrote back. Guess you can't ignore the networking potential of public toilets. So what do I write in reply? So these don't actually matter. Um... Let's just go crazy. I'm a sexed crazed perv. There. Here's hoping the lonely lady gets a chuckle out of that one. I'll drop by to see if she says anything later. So I just gotta go in a place and then back out. Good thing there's a karaoke right here. Speaking of karaoke, I definitely gotta do more of that at some point. Now that we have all the girls unlocked, we can do the songs again. Which one of these scribbles is our exchange? Mm -hmm. That's what I wrote, yeah. There's no writing under my reply. I like that. When you see this message, can you come to the phone booth in Shofukucho West? I can't wait to meet you. What? The lonely lady wants to meet. I'll have a red rose in my lapel. I'll be waiting. Don't stand me up, Rena. Wow, so the lonely lady is named Rena. Can't believe I'm actually making a connection through bathroom graffiti. Her message looks fresh. If I haul down to the phone booth in Shofukucho West, maybe I'll catch Lonely Rena. Alright, Shofukucho West. Literally right there. Okay. Let's go. Now, it may be a question if Kiryu does the sex. Right. But it is a for certain fact Majima does the sex. Rena, the lonely lady, is supposed to be waiting around here, wearing a red rose on her lapel. Not seeing her, though. <laughs> Check it out, fellas. We got ourselves a sucker. We got a problem, gents. You came here hoping to meet a lovely lady, didn't you? Suck to be you. She doesn't exist. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> We are the sexy lady you're looking for, my friend. None of you fools has the pretty handwriting, really? You thicker what? There was never a woman. She doesn't exist, you dumbass. Damn it all. All it takes is the scent of a woman to get dumb shits like you to come written. Their tongues at and their dicks pepping at the zipper. You should see the looks on their faces when we beat the shit out of them and take anything worth taking. Strangest thing, too, they never seem to go to the cops afterward. Guess nobody wants to tell the fuzz they let their dicks do the talking. <laughs> Pretty goddamn clever, ain't it? Oh, it's clever, all right. You finally figure it out? I get ready to lose those fancy clothes and all the cash you got on you. Well, folks. You see, that's where you're wrong. 
We got a taser. Die. You, we screwed you the wrong guy. We're sorry. We'll stop blurring people here with our pretty handwriting. Please take this and forgive us. Serves me right, really. Can't believe I fell for the oldest trick in the book. It's a men's bathroom to begin with. Why would a woman be in there citing her name in graffiti? Rena, my ass. Wait, a bathroom? Rena? We were riding on a bulletin board at the train station under the name Mayumi. Huh? What? Well, screw it anyway. You fools better not ever get up to this kind of tomfuckery ever again, got it? Yes, sir. Never again. Yo, Chan, wait for me. <sighs> Serves you right for being so gullible, Goro. I ain't gonna forget this for a long while. And... Boom. I guess the sex craze perv isn't coming after all. Probably for the best. Damn. You could have got some if you were just more observant, Majimno. Poor man. Alright, and. Yeah, I guess I'll just. Where is it? Where is it? Where the hell is... Okay, there it is. Let's go do Disco again. But at least Majima's Disco has a bit more... rewards. Alright, so I don't think I've actually danced as him before, so the quest should not be here yet. So, I'm just gonna do a song really quick, and I'll be back when the quest starts. Okay. So you needed to do three songs in a row. You leave, you come back. We got the old girl here. Ah, there you are. Hello. Hmm? Talking to me? I've had my eye on you for a while, you know. Your dance style is quite fascinating. Who's your mentor? Mentor? It's more of a self-taught style. Well then. You have a natural-born talent for dancing. You really think so? Oh yes, you have rough edges, but with a little polish, you have the potential to dazzle. Diamond in the rough, that's you. I've never been called a diamond before. So who are you? Huh? You dance here, but you don't know who I am? Uh, sorry, not a clue. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm Isobe. I have a certain amount of notoriety in the local dance scene. Isobe, huh? Can't say I've heard that name before. I see. I guess I still have a ways to go. So anyway, what can I do for you, oh mistress of the dance? Do you know anything about dance battles? Nah, what is it with battles these days? I miss being able to solve disputes with good old-fashioned fists. I figured as much. You don't know who I am, you don't know dance battles. You really don't know anything about the dance world. Eh, that's never caused me any problems. Well, that's okay. I'll teach you. In a dance battle, two dancers square off and dance at the same time to determine who's better. The dancer who pulls off the most elegant steps and gets the crowd raving is the victor. Okay, I get the picture. Sounds fun. Yes, fun doesn't even begin to describe it. 
So what, are you looking to challenge me to a dance battle? Oh, I'd love to do that, but until you get better, I'd only wipe the floor with you. I'd shatter your confidence. Are you serious with that? Look, even if I wanted to, this is Maharaja. It's hallowed ground for dancers. I doubt the others would stand by and let an unknown like you dance with me. What, dancing got comes some kind of hierarchy too? Oh my gosh, it's Missy Sobe. The great Missy Sobe. The great Missy Sobe. Missy Sobe, I'm honored to meet you. I'm Kengo. I'm a huge fan of yours. Is that so? How charming. Thank you. Missy Sobe, seeing you dance was a revelation. Ever since that day, I've been coming here to work on my dancing. I want to keep improving so I can one day earn the privilege of dancing with you, Missy Sobe. Actually, I've noticed you on the dance floor, Kengo kun. You've got some pretty slick moves. Really? You're serious? I caught the eye of Missy Sobe? This is a dream come true. How about that? You really are some kind of famous. Now do you see? Famous doesn't even begin to describe Missy Sobe. To the dancers here at Maharaja, she's a goddess. Well, that's a bit much, maybe? Anyway, has the goddess spun the threads of fate into a dance battle against my lowly human presence? I don't know. Huh? What are you saying? Of course nobody like you can't dance with Missy Sobe. Are you out of your mind? Only the chosen few get to dance with her. If you insist, you'll have to go through me first. Who died and made you the gatekeeper? Well, that could be fun. Kangokun's a good dancer. I think you would match up well on dance battle. This is your chance. You can make your presence known to the dancers. This has turned into a circus. Alright. Sure. Let's get it on. Yeah, we'll see who deserves a chance to dance with Missy Sobe. <laughs> and of course, he gets the worst song. <laughs> Easy clap. <laughs> yes, I win. I... I lost. I didn't think you'd be such an amazing dancer. Bravo. That was wonderful. Sparks were flying. Missy Somay, I think this man has real potential. He does, doesn't he? Hey man, we share the same dance floor. We share a kinship. Could I get your name? I guess I didn't catch your name either. Oops, never introduced myself. I'm Majima. Majima, huh? I don't know how a dancer as good as you could escape my notice. Missy Sobe, I'm going to spread word about Majima-san to the other Maharaja dancers. They're gonna know his name soon. Whoa, hold your horses. I got enough notoriety right now. You just joined the ranks of the famous. I don't know about the rich. Maybe you'll get the chance to take me on soon. Alright. A no-name's not allowed the privilege of having a dance battle with you. 
But after that display, I'd give you a yen for your thoughts. I'm afraid you're not quite ready. You would still have to beat the man second only to me in Maharaja representation. Reputation. And who's the lucky fella? I'll introduce him to you. Alright, alright, okay, okay, let's get to it. That's 30 Majima sub-stories. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, I guess while I'm here, I do have to clear out the menu. I already did, never mind. Alright, so now we leave and come back in. Hi, Majima-kun. It's been a while. I was just here, lady. You just call me Isobe, you know. Yeah, it's been a while. What's up? Are you finally descending to the mortal plane for some dancing? Of course not. You're just not good enough for me. Not yet, anyway. Don't you remember what I said last time? Second only to me. Come on, Majima-kun. Can't see you if you're hiding behind me. You have to show your face. Uh. Majima-kun, this man is Maharaja's second in command. Huh. Come on, don't slouch. Chin up. You should introduce yourself. Uh. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. Don't worry about him. He's just a little shy. Uh, okay, got it. Oh, but his dance sense and his technique are sheer genius, and that's no exaggeration. I can vouch for his talent. So that means if I take down this old timer and then you, I get the glory of being the greatest dancer? <laughs> the greatest dancer? Majima-kun, I didn't know you were so ambitious. Hmm? If you're gonna do something, you gotta aim for the top. A real man never aims for second best. Aren't you something? Well, if you do manage to beat me, you'll be the greatest dancer here. There's no question about that. Good to hear. But for you to challenge me, you need to beat this man first. Seems that way. You're saying you can beat me? Won't know till I try. All I know is I'm gaining confidence as a dancer. I see. Well, you saw his dancing? Yes, I would like to try a dance battle. I think, I think he has a talent that's a little different from mine. I guess a genius really can recognize another genius. Majima-san, would you like to battle? Alright, let's see here. yeah -ha! How's everyone grooving tonight? I'm taking on Majima here in a dance battle. What in the fresh hell? Hey! The old guy's in dance mode. Can't wait to see his moves again. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. His personality completely switches when he's about to dance. It's like he flips a switch or something. But, okay. They say geniuses can be a little odd, but man. <laughs> okay, Majima. You ready to get up to get down? Let's get primal and dance like party animals. I'm feeling just as right.
敵な男性かな。Hey, hey! I'm the man now. Congratulations. I never lost anyone but Missy Sobe before. Well, his personality snapped right back to low key. Majima san, you are an inspiring dancer. You've given me a lot to think about. I have to go. Thank you for dancing with me. <laughs> I had a blast dancing with ya. You gotta hit the dance floor again, old guy. Now there's just one dancer left standing in my way. That dude with the eye patch is wicked. I can't believe he outdanced the old guy. Wait, if you beat the old guy, does that mean he's the number two dancer here now? <laughs> Your talent is finally in full bloom. You've definitely earned the respect of the dancers as one of the elite now. You gotta admit, there's some appeal in that. And all that's left is our showdown, just you and me? It looks that way. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've been able to dance without holding back. All right, ready for the showdown? You gotta, you gotta come back and make it a, a another sub story. And then we leave and come back. Is that cheer? Look at this. The crowd is ready. So excited. Can't wait. What's with this mop? <laughs> You're here. Yeah, but what's up with this massive crowd? Isn't it obvious? They're our audience. They're here to watch our showdown. I told you, didn't I? You just started dancing and been chaos. An event like this needs to be announced in advance. Man, I can't believe this many people just to see us throw down. They look up to you. Of course, right now, you're playing second fiddle to me. Give me a few minutes. I'll turn that ranking right on its head. I'm still a little shocked the day has come. I'd say we've waxed enough of snot nostalgia. This crowd showed up to see a battle, right? Let's go. Uh. Fan dancing. Oh, you didn't know. I have my own original dance style. I use a fan and my steps had a touch of elegance. Do you now? I'm looking forward to seeing that. Let's go. Yeah, look at her. Look at her go.
got a little got a little close at some points, but I still managed to do it. And she had way more steps, whoa. Yeah, I'm the champ. I can't believe I got to witness that happen. He actually beat Mrs. Sobe. We have a new number one. Too good. I won't get a wink of sleep tonight. Yeah. That was some performance. You outshine me in every way. I never had a dance battle this... this fiery. You don't seem all that upset by it, if I'm being honest. I suppose that's because I'm not all that surprised. I half expected this from the moment I first saw you dance. Having said that, I must say, you've truly blossomed into an incredible dancer. Alright, alright. There's one thing I have to ask you. Do you like dancing? Can't get much simpler than that. Of course I like dancing. Work out this fun's hard to come by. That's good. You become a spiritual icon to the dancers. I'd be a crying shame. You should have this. We got the fan. So much fluff and feathers on this thing. It's proof of your victory. Who knows? If you work this fan into your routine, you may discover some dancing you didn't know you were capable of. All the fan does for Akiru and Majima is they have one new animation for when they do the, the fever. Where they swing the fan. That's it. Interesting. Dancing with fans is really gonna take off, I bet. You really think so? Now you're a dancer, everyone looks up to you. Give it a shot. Can't see any self respect and soul waving around this goofy looking fan. The whole dance scene is in your hands. Take care, champ. Be good to yourself, eh? Anyway, I think my first request as the new number one dancer is another dance to celebrate. Hit it! And there we go. Disco is now fully done. No more disco. Alright, and before... Before I end the part, I do want to do one thing. This technically counts as another sub-story being done, so I just want to do this really quick, really quick, really quick. Oh, hey, libido. Brody, can you move? So if we go to the Sega... Hello, you. I will be back after I've done a round of Space Harrier. So I think I did a pretty good run and got to stage 3. And of course... Like... Hear you before. Majima also has a Sega lady who, um, yeah. But she likes Space Harrier. And there's Kyoko. And that's technically a, a sub story done. We just. Just don't have her friendship done. And I don't want to do that just yet. But there you go. One episode. Now Majima's at 33 out of 40. And five of those is still Cabaret Club. I'll see what to do about that later. But I'll end the part there. I've been player one, and I'll see you next time. Where we... I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see. Bye-bye.